Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel. Where this time I'm over at El Pollo Loco to check out one of the new variations of nachos they've got going on the menu. That's right, you already know what it is. It's the double chicken nachos. So stay tuned because it's up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. So here we go with the double chicken nachos here at El Pollo Loco. And initial first impressions, guys, this looks like it was kind of thrown together. I mean, there's definitely a lot of food in here for sure, but the presentation is a little lackluster in my opinion. All right, so what we've got here looks to be a very decent portion of their tortilla chips topped off with a double portion of their fire grilled chicken, but admittedly it looks a little on the dry side, but it is absolutely plentiful. Aside from that, this one looks to feature their queso blanco, which I'm not really seeing too much of, but we definitely have guacamole, we've got some beans, some pico de gallo, and absolutely some sour cream is visible, although it's very light in that department as well. And this is actually supposed to come with a fried serrano pepper, which I'm also not seeing. So, so far guys, this is really not starting off great, but at the same time, it does look pretty plentiful. All right, so let's not waste any more time on this one. Let's see if the flavor delivers. This is the all new double chicken nachos here at El Pollo Loco. Let's peep out this flavor. Well, I'm definitely digging the portion size for the chicken itself. I just wish it looked a little juicier, but guys, I gotta be honest again, while this does feel pretty hefty in the hand and the toppings definitely are plentiful, I'm not really seeing a lot of cheese on this at all. You can kind of see this right here. It looks like it's more chips than anything, and it looks like they couldn't really spare the sour cream either, but hey, it is what it is. Let me just try and get a little bit of everything on here, and we'll just give this a shot. I've had various versions of nachos at El Pollo Loco over the years. I'm sure this is gonna be very similar. Let's give this a shot here, guys. The double chicken nachos here at El Pollo Loco. Let's do it. It's okay. But unfortunately, as expected, the chicken is very dry. And in terms of the queso blanco, I am not really seeing too much of that on here at all. There is like literally nothing in terms of cheese on here, guys. It's very dry, man. This is not cool at all. Let me try and go for a little bit of guacamole, a little bit of the cheese action right here, whatever I can get, actually. There's really not too much of that on here. Mm. This is totally front loaded. There is nothing on the very bottom here at all and literally like no cheese. Very disappointing. Well, I take that back actually here. Hang on. There is a little bit of queso blanco, but wow, this is sad. This is just sad. It's literally in specks along with the sour cream. There's really nothing here. You know what? Let me grab a fork real quick because this is going to be a very quick review. This is very lackluster right now. I'm really not digging this. Considering $7.50 for this, and granted, I mean, I'm paying for the weight of everything on here and the topping choices, but even still, this is probably gonna be the nicest bite I can show you out of this group here, because the sour cream is just weak. There's nothing here. Let's go for one more bite. This is pretty sad. No. I'm not gonna waste your time or mine anymore with this, guys. Very, very dry on the chicken. There's hardly any cheese to speak of on this. I don't have my Serrano pepper to even try that as well. And overall, just very lackluster. Front-loaded chips with very decent toppings, but not the freshest, and it could have had a lot more sour cream to go with as well. Just pretty sad on this one. It really is. Now, as most of you guys know, especially if you've watched my channel for any length of time, in addition to my live streams, El Pollo Loco is one of the main staples of my diet outside of what I usually do for filming here on the channel. I mean, I love the chicken the way that they make it. I eat chicken more than anything, and I do get the chicken pretty often over here, but some of these promo items, especially with these nachos, I'm always a little leery about because it depends upon who make them for you. Naturally, this could have used a lot more queso blanco, a little bit more sour cream, and it could have been fresher for sure, but having something with a lot of toppings dumped on the top with a whole bunch of chips and that's it. The presentation, as soon as I opened it up, was kind of lackluster to begin with, even though it was plentiful, but still, it didn't deliver, obviously. I think you know that, right? So with that said, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give the double chicken nachos, based upon my experience with them right now here at El Pollo Loco, a 5.1 out of 10. It's just overpassable with this one because the flavor is just okay, but even still, the chicken could have been a lot juicier, a lot fresher, and again, we need some more queso blanco. That thing should have been lit up ridiculously, especially with all the other toppings. The sour cream, it looks like somebody spit on it, literally. There's really nothing on there at all, even though the guacamole was okay. The beans were very light as well. Just overall, a lackluster effort today. But like I said, just barely over the five mark. Barely. All right, so I'm just gonna ask you one very simple question. Who do you think has the best fast food nachos? Because the quality of the Pollo Loco generally is pretty good, but when it comes to fast food nachos, who do you think reigns supreme? Drop some comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. 
I expect a lot more from you, El Pollo Loco, because I definitely know what you're capable of. I mean, like I said, I do enjoy your food outside of my normal reviews, but when it comes to these promo nacho items, at the very least, we need some more queso blanco on this. I mean, come on. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Yeah.